the No Fate channel? Checking in. And on this episode of Dad's Home Gym, I have three completely different plate carriers and weighted vests that I'm going to be reviewing. But they all look exactly the same. So on this video, we're also going to be diving in to how to spot and what to look for with regards to small differences when it comes to home gym equipment. Full disclosure, this probably isn't going to shock many of you. Unfortunately, a lot of the home gym equipment out there is made in the same exact factory. And when it goes out the door, they just slap a different logo on it. And while that can save you some money sometimes, it can also make you think you're getting a better product than you are. I digress. If this is your first time to the channel, give this video a like, hit that red subscribe button. On this Dad's Home Gym series, I just review pieces of home gym equipment to help you decide if it's right for your fitness goals, your health needs, and most importantly, that hard earned money. And I will be getting to the cost on all of these at the end of the video, and it is going to absolutely surprise you. Now, if you've been a longtime subscriber to the channel, you know I love weighted vests when it comes to a home gym environment, and you should too. It adds a lot of versatility, it takes a lot of body weight exercises, makes them completely different, and it just doesn't take up much space. And frankly, you can add extra weight to them. Oftentimes, the, the female version is usually 14 pounds, the male version is 20 pounds, but you can also buy additional inserts to get them all the way up to about 40 pounds. I've got one that's like 40 pounds and it sucks to use. I wanna start with the topic that's probably the easiest to explain, and that is the actual plates themselves. 95% of all the plates that you can buy for plate carriers are gonna look exactly like this. They may have a different color, they may have a different name stamped on the front, but they are all gonna look exactly like this, flat and heavy. In fact, there's only two or three plate styles that are different than this one. And those tend to be curved and those are specific for the higher end, higher echelon weighted vests that are out there. As f so the best way to save money when it comes to getting your plates is to buy your plates with your weighted vests. Reason being is they're all gonna ship at the same time. The company that you go with is going to ultimately give you a discount for having a larger purchase. And that's just the name of the game. The best place to find plates if you already have a vest and you're looking to get additional plates cheaply, I have found to be eBay. That was about six months ago. So you, do, you may have to look around, but odds are if you're looking at a plate carrier, you don't already have plates. So I would recommend whatever plate carrier you get, buy the plates directly from them at the same time. If you're watching this video right now, you probably can't see the differences on these plate carriers. And if you actually saw the marketing photos, you might not be able to see it either. My longtime subscribers know I'm a huge fan of Wolf Tactical. They actually sell a lot more than just this plate carrier, but this is ultimately one of my favorite plate carriers because it is so versatile for those of you who like to go to the range, you can use it as a range vest. For those of you doing security, you could put a ballistic plate in here if you wanted to. And for those of you like me that are just using it to do MRF and other body weight exercises, this thing absolutely holds up. And the price point is very, very good, especially in 2022, where we know steel prices are high and everything else with regards to inflation and shipping is also high. I happen to think this one has held up very well for me uh, over the course of almost two years now. Another important factor between these three vests and when you're deciding between a lot of equipment that looks exactly the same, Wolf Tactical, they've been around for a while. They have a website, they've got an Amazon uh, spot as well, but they've got a customer service and frankly, they're gonna be around for a lot, lot longer. They're not gonna be someone hard to find. Spartan Shadow is brand new, at least in my understanding. They have, they're on Amazon, but they don't even have a website. And Turquoise America, also brand new, but they do have a website. Now, you're looking at these three vests and they all look exactly the same. So one thing to consider, Wolf Tactical, you can get different colors if you are interested in getting a specific color other than black. 
shadow spartan you can get any color you want as long as it's black now turquoise america does as well have a few color options out there at first glance they do all look the same but when you actually get them in the mail and you actually look up close there are some serious differences so right off the top wolf tactical and turquoise america these these vests come assembled which is nice it's a lot less of a hassle and it makes it easier to just adjust them to your size this spartan shadow you do, did come disassembled and you had to assemble it on your own as far as the material obviously you're looking at three black ones but the materials do matter i felt at least in my opinion which is non-professional that the spartan shadow was the cheapest and wolf tactical and turquoise america seem to be very similar the stitching on these two do seem to be very similar spartan shadow stitching seems to be pretty cheap as far as the internal padding on here again extremely similar even on the rear of these weighted vests they look exactly the same but there is a slight design issue or design change on the turquoise america spartan shadow compared to the wolf tactical and i think it's a worse one in my opinion and that is how this cummerbund style feature is connected in the back, you can see these are all super duper loosey goosey. There's no connection web on them whatsoever. Whereas Wolf Tactical goes the extra mile to connect that webbing to make it a lot more secure. And I think a better overall design, it tends to lie a bit more flush. Another issue that I experienced when I had to assemble this Spartan Shadow is that when I was running the wire, through here there's supposed to be a corridor that allows this wire to go all the way through to the bottom and pop out the bottom except there was no opening when i was running the wire on both sides it went all the way to the bottom and stopped i had to get a knife and actually cut where the opening was supposed to be and that's something that is nerve-wracking and frankly something that i wish i didn't have to do on a brand new product that i got in but let's talk about cost comment down below which of these three do you think is the cheapest when it comes to buying the vest and a set of plates okay hopefully you got your guess in coming in the most expensive is spartan shadow 169 and you would think for a company that's only on amazon and a company that just started up that they would probably have the lowest price of the three no no uh uh now Coming in second is Turquoise America at 168. Unfortunately, this is a really good vest to buy at 168. It comes in multiple colors. It's going to get the job done. It does have pretty decent stitching. I don't like the change in the design on the back. That's my personal opinion. And I actually think that the Velcro they use on the shoulders is a bit weaker with poorer stitching than the Wolf Tactical, at least in my opinion, and at least up close. The cheapest of these three is the one that's been in the business the longest, and that is Wolf Tactical coming in at 163. And frankly, I don't think you can go wrong with Wolf Tactical. Again, I've been promoting them for a while because I use this and because it has held up. The real purpose of today's video wasn't to bash these two plate carrying companies. In fact, Turquoise America is a viable option, especially because they have different color options available. Unfortunately, I just want you to get around your head to get into the mode, the thinking that the cheaper option isn't always the best option. And when you're comparing different pieces of equipment that look exactly the same, like these vests, to dive a little bit deeper, and I would often push you towards the company that's been around longer, that is established, that's going to have less issues with manufacturing, and that's going to have a customer service not right away, but in six months or a year, they're still going to be in business and they're not going to be hard to find. Hopefully you found today's video informative. Drop in a comment down below any questions you might have on home gym equipment, plate carriers, whatever. Drop it down below and I'll be glad to get it answered. If you came this far in the video, we're officially best friends. That's right. YouTube hates when people cut out. So when you and I making it to the end of today's video, band of brothers buddy okay give this video a like hit that red subscribe button as usual thanks for watching and don't save anything for the trip back